What is going on, warriors? This is your man Johnny F here, and if you're looking to finally start a daily meditation habit, then you've made it to the right place. And these steps will actually help you with getting there. Whoa, whoa, John, didn't you already make this video? Yeah, I did, but it was actually one of my very first videos, which kind of makes me cringe every time I watch it. But we all gotta start somewhere, and we can only get better from there. So let's help you with starting a meditation practice. Welcome to Next Level Warrior. It's always great to have you here. And for anyone that's new to the channel, we cover topics from advancing on your personal growth and mental health, helping you build your warrior within to become your next level self. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon, selecting all notifications to catch my videos posted every week. So whether you've never meditated before or you've been trying for years to be consistent with your daily meditation practice, these steps will help you to actually make this a part of your life. Some of them may seem obvious while others completely new to you. Regardless, these are the steps that I use when working with new clients who wanna make this a daily habit. And this is how I've actually maintained a daily 30 minute meditation habit for over three years now. So let's get into tip number one. Do it first thing in the morning, but don't do it while you're sitting in bed for obvious reasons. Get to another spot. Unless of course you have enough self-discipline not to fall back asleep. You see, just like the term eating the morning frog, putting the important before the urgent in your life, you're much more likely to actually do it instead of letting it get lost in the busyness of the day. Besides, in the morning, your brain is operating on a slower frequency called an alpha wave state. This frequency state will make meditation easier to do and extend the length that you remain in the super creative mode. Unless of course, by this point, you've already infiltrated your brain with a noise of digital distractions. Designing your environment is one of the most important steps to successfully ease into any new habit. In this step, we are designing and preparing our space to remove as much friction as possible between you and the habit that you're trying to create. You see, when you have to make decisions in the moment, such as where you're gonna sit, what you're gonna wear, needing to remove distractions, these are all small decisions that create distance between you and the habit that you're trying to accomplish. In this case, meditating daily. So. First things first, the previous night, set your phone onto airplane mode. This will ensure that when you shut off the alarm in the morning, you won't get pulled into distracting notifications that will take you out of your alpha wave state. Also, in the previous night, set up whatever it is that you'll need. The place you'll be sitting, a glass of water, comfortable clothing, a timer, whatever it is that you think you'll need, set this up in the night before. The reason for this importance is because when you remove this possible friction between you and the habit that you're trying to implement, then your brain has the least amount of reasons to be lazy about actually doing it. If you've been trying to be consistent forever, but it hasn't worked, then make the commitment to start with a small amount of time. Again, this is easier for the brain to say yes to when you wake up in the morning. Specifically, I always suggest my clients to start with five minutes a day in the first month or so and expand from there. Of course, you can double it after that if you wish, but consistency is the key to really building this in as a daily habit. Sometimes we actually shoot ourselves in the foot by making an unrealistic commitment. And believe me, going from zero minutes to 30 minutes a day will be the easiest way to quit. There's just too much friction in this drastic leap and it can end up feeling like a chore, something that you have to do instead of something that you get to do. Now this one is super easy because you already know how to do it. But getting serious here, what I mean is to basically cut out anything unnecessary. No disrespect to hand mudras, breathing techniques, body scanning, chanting. Just bring it to the simplest act of sitting and breathing. Believe me, I spent over 10 years struggling with these complexities trying to make this a habit. But once I came back to the simplicity of breathing, not worrying about hand postures and anything else that would complicate its simplicity, that's when I actually made it a daily habit. And I'm over three years into it going strong. Which brings me to the next tip. Be patient with yourself. It can take quite some time to progress and notice the benefits of meditation within your life. Of course, I can't put everyone into this category as some of you will actually feel the benefits much quicker. 
I'm only speaking from my own experience whereby even years later, I still have meditation sessions where I wonder if I actually went more than five seconds without another thought popping into my mind. And to be fair, I used to be very oblivious to the positive effects meditation was having in my life. So much so that I literally had people around me telling me that I was different, so much calmer, asking me what I was actually doing to achieve this. Ironically, if it wasn't for their awareness of the changes in me, along with all the research and studies on meditation that I was filling my brain with, I may not have actually made it this far in the journey. So yeah, definitely be patient with yourself. Now, I'm not gonna give you some history lesson on this here. If you wanna go down that rabbit hole, then to each their own, but we're simply trying to establish a habit here to reap the benefits in our lives and the ripple effect that it has on the people around us. And to this regard, when I say understand what meditation is, I mean that it is a powerful means of training your wonderful mind, training it to be more responsive instead of reactive, emotionally calm, clear, increasing your level of patience, imagination, creativity, and even better, you're building skills to manage stress and anxiety. But I have to make one thing very clear. Just like any other training that you would do to get stronger and transform your physique, this takes time. A small investment of your time that compounds in many ways over time, which impacts not only your life, but the people in your life. So just remember, no matter how far you progress in this, your mind will wander. So definitely get over it. Just breathe, notice the thoughts when they come up, tune back into your breathing, and repeat. Noticing that your mind has wandered is the whole point of meditation. You're becoming more aware of the actions of your mind. So just keep breathing. And when you notice that you've wandered, tune back to the awareness of your breath. Repeat. It's as simple as that. Uh, not easy, but simple in its process. So let me know in the comments which tips stood out to you the most, what you're having the greatest challenge with in meditation, and definitely check out the description for a link to our growing Facebook group to connect with other like-minded warriors looking to create change in their lives. Like this video if you appreciated it, and make sure to subscribe for more future videos, and never stop growing, warriors.